On the 24th of October last year, I made a huge decision on this channel. I posted a video detailing a new route, a change in style, and a return to my love of golf and travel. Your reaction was overwhelming. Views, likes, and comments kept the YouTube algorithm in full flow, but more importantly, encouraged me to pursue my passion. But one problem was still to be resolved until today. And I have come to a very special golf course to share with you some incredible news for the channel, and it's all thanks to you. Roll out, roll out, she's got it. Yes, I've returned to Wallasey Golf Club where I filmed the first pilot episode in what was an attempt to bring a more cinematic style of content to my channel. A bit of storytelling and a move away from what is pretty much a hectic space in the world of golf YouTube right now. So it was episode seven that I filmed at Church Stretton that was titled Selling Out. And the idea was that my explanation to you was that if I'm gonna keep this travel series going, then I'm gonna need some help and support from sponsors because this is an expensive thing we're attempting to do right now. And the following day after that episode went out, I was contacted by numerous brands, uh, hotels, all kinds of people, to be honest with you, that linked to the golf industry that came up and offered their help. I was pretty much blown away by the response, as I was from yours in being so understanding that we needed to go down some sort of route to finance this. Which was great news, but it was important that we chose the right people to work with and those that were the right fit for the channel. And more importantly, retain your respect when making those decisions. And one offer came to the table, which is a game changer. The UK weather has no respect for uh, YouTubers who are trying to make a living. It's gone a bit miserable. Go on, turn, turn, he's got it. That's a good point, you can't see from there just how much that swings. So I am pleased to announce as of the 1st of March, PXG will become the official sponsor of our Monday night episodes of Off The Beaten Track. And to be honest with you, I couldn't be happier. Now many have suggested in the past that I've already had a kind of previous relationship with PXG and that's never been the case and I've always said I'll be honest and truthful and whenever and if ever something like that happened as it has done now that I would be upfront and uh, let you know all of what has happened. I can't deny that I've always had an incredible relationship with PXG ever since I first met and that's both with the team over in the US and the UK. Right from the man at the top, Mr. Bob Parsons, key figures, Leela Brennan, Nick Janke, the engineering team of Mike Nicolette, Brad Schweiger, Caleb Kroloff, my custom fit man, Mike Fox, and Kate, all from the US team. And my first conversations with Bex West in the UK five years ago, and I continue to build relationships with Adam Chester, and now part of the UK team. I've also met some incredible people, and fair to say I had plenty of fun along the way in getting to know the team at PXG. It's been a journey. And I've always been a massive fan of the PXG lineup in terms of their products, so I don't feel as though I've had to make any sort of compromises by making this decision either. For 13 consecutive Mondays, you've tuned in to watch me travel to a new and exciting adventure. Southerness, Snowdonia, the Cotswolds, Wimbledon Common, Gossick, Madeira, Church Stretton, Gullen, the Glen, the Berkshire, North Berwick and Dundonald Lynx. And every week you tuned in, gave me your support, posted a comment and did all that I asked to help me make this work. He 
You see, my relationship with PXG has been built over a number of years and built on sort of mutual respect and trust. And I think that was really important to me is when we were approached by or whoever we were sort of looking to work with on these projects, it was important that uh, those two things existed and both ways. So I feel like we've got a lot to offer in terms of this content to PXG and vice versa. And that's why, like I said earlier on, I'm super happy to be where we are right now. And more importantly, maybe it just means that we can now concentrate on planning into the future, uh, really looking to try and take the content that we're producing up to another level. And it gives us the confidence now to go ahead and do that. And that's hugely important and something that we just couldn't do just a few months ago. So from your perspective, nothing will change. Monday nights continue, as will the product review content. I just hope we can make it better than ever before. And don't worry, we will be taking a closer look at Wallacey in the weeks ahead. Let's see if we can finish on a birdie. He's got a chance, you know, it has as well. We had a couple of good putts while the camera's been on. And I think we'll end it there because I said a few episodes back that I'd try and keep everything as transparent and as honest as I can. And I mentioned that a lot was going on behind the scenes and that's what's led us to today's position. And I think I've got to show, first of all, it's a huge sense of gratitude to everybody that's got involved in this new style of content and supported it. And that could be a, uh, a simple comment, a like, getting involved in photo of the week, which has been hugely popular, or, or just simply watching because it has led us to this position and this relationship now with PXG. And obviously I need to show a massive thank you to them. And it's from everybody behind the camera and myself PXG have uh, shown some faith and supported this project moving forward, which allows us to start planning projects. And I can tell you, we've got some incredible adventures planned both on and off the golf course in the coming months. And I can't wait to share those with you. Look, I know this face is sort of built for poker. It doesn't give a great deal away, but I can tell you inside, I'm hugely happy right now. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. And all I really ask is that you carry on supporting in any way you can. And uh, all that's left to say is, well, I'll see you all next week.